Hello, pattern readers. It's time for a channel update. It's been a while since I've done one of those, and I wanted to give you an idea of what to expect from reading the pattern in 2021, which is the year I think we will see the first season of the Wheel of Time TV series. So exciting things are on the horizon. And as part of this video, I do want to get some feedback from you, anyone who watches this channel regularly enough that you would check out a video like this. And by the way, thank you. It really makes me happy to see those familiar names in the comment sections regularly. So thank you for supporting the channel by watching and commenting. And I'm going to give you a little bit of inside baseball on some things that I've learned from doing YouTube over the past 15 months. So let's talk about the Wheel of Time reread series first. If you're following along, you'll know that I've completed The Eye of the World, New Spring, and most recently, The Great Hunt. So those are all bingeable in their completion right now. And this was actually the goal I had set for myself of how much of the books I wanted to complete before the first season came out. Now that doesn't mean that I won't be releasing any more rereads before the first season. That's really going to depend on a few different things, and that's part of what I wanted to get into in this video. So my intention when I first started this channel with the concept of these reread videos is that I wanted to do a series that would make each book bingeable for a reread. There's a lot of podcast rereads out there, but the podcast is a long format. It's not really bingeable when you might spend an hour talking about a single chapter. I try to cover three to four chapters. That includes not just recaps, but the in-depth discussion that I love to do in about 20 minutes. At the time, there was nothing really like that on YouTube, and I thought fans of the books might be looking for content like that to refresh themselves on the relevant books before each season of the TV show. And I knew that these videos were not likely to attract a lot of attention initially, but my hope was that I could sort of grow the channel with enough lead time before the show came out that would pull in a larger audience for this kind of content eventually. And that might still happen. I am curious to see if there are more people who are interested in binging this type of content as we get closer to the premiere of the show. But I've learned a few things in that time as well. And for starters, while there is a core group of people who have stuck with me through this reread, which is awesome, also these videos currently do nothing to bring in new viewers and to grow the channel. I rely on other types of content to do that. I know that there is a larger group of people out there that might be interested in this content, but getting them to find them on YouTube is an uphill battle. And as I have been focusing a little bit more on the reread lately, the growth of my channel has really stagnated. On a more personal level, I feel some pressure to release content for the reread regularly when I'm in the middle of one. So ideally, that would be one video per week, which is doable, but not if I'm trying to release any other types of content for the channel. The other thing that's happening is as the books get a little bit more complicated, if I don't want the videos to be too long, I have to do more episodes per book. So The Great Hunt I did in 16, whereas The Eye of the World took 12. And it's actually a shorter book. So at minimum, it would take four months to complete a book, realistically more like five. And so there are some things I'm considering changing up in how I do this. And I'm looking to get some feedback from you before I commit to anything. It's possible that I won't change anything major, but as in the future, I'll be looking at completing possibly two to three books in between each season to keep up with the pace of the show, I need to at least consider ways to speed things up a little bit in this process. I have already streamlined my process quite a bit from when I began, but the part that I find takes me longer to complete than I would like is writing the recaps for each chapter. This took me a lot longer with The Great Hunt than it did for The Eye of the World because things are already starting to become more complex and that's that's only just the beginning. My intention with these reread videos, again, was that it could be a substitute for actually rereading the books. So I've chosen to include a fair amount of detail in those recap sections. Now, I don't know if anybody is actually using these videos this way, but either way, I am considering cutting down on the amount of detail I put in the recap sections because I think it would significantly reduce the amount of time it took me to script the videos. 
but I wanted to see how people might respond to that idea. Another more drastic idea I had for changing these up would be to tackle each book by character or plot line rather than chronologically. So for example, for The Dragon Reborn, I could do a video on Rand's plot, one for Matt's, one for Perrin's, one for Egwene, Nynaeve, and Elaine, and so on. Of course, for each book, it would take a lot of thinking about how to divide things up. The idea behind this is that I might be able to make these videos friendlier to YouTube's algorithm, though, to be honest, I really truly don't know how that would work out until I tried it. It might end up being a bust in that department as well. This is obviously a bigger departure, so I'm very curious to hear if this is something that might interest people or not. No matter what I decide about either of these ideas, I do plan to take a break before I dive right into The Dragon Reborn. I wanna have some time to focus on other types of content that I want to do, and also hopefully grow the channel a little bit more before the show premieres. Whether or not I do decide to tackle The Dragon Reborn prior to season one will depend a lot on when it's going to debut. If it comes out anywhere near the middle of the year, there's a good chance I'll wait because I won't be able to complete the book before then anyway. If we're not going to see season one until closer to the end of the year, then I might decide to tackle it. Either way, my goal will be to complete The Dragon Reborn and The Shadow Rising prior to season two. And even if I don't start recording and releasing yet, I can still be scripting these episodes. Once season one does premiere for however amount of time we're going to see new content being released for that period of time. I'm going to be just focusing on doing content for each episode. I'll talk more about that as we get closer to it. But in general, my thought would be some videos should be spoiler free for book content and some should contain book spoilers. But beyond that, obviously, a lot of other content creators are going to be doing somewhat similar things. And so I'd love to hear from you when you compare watching things on my channel versus other content creators, especially those on YouTube. What do you think makes mine a little bit different? I'm looking for how I can tailor my content and offer something a little bit different here than what other content creators might be doing. And what will I be focusing on in the meantime? I think that the niche I've found myself in to some extent and that I really want to lean into going forward is talking about both speculation and opinions on how these books are going to be adapted for TV. And so I'll continue to cover TV show news with a focus on trying to piece together what we're likely to see in the first season. But I also want to start doing content where I talk about how I think certain challenging aspects of the books should be adapted. And I want to focus not just on my own personal opinions, but also on what will make a good and successful adaptation. And this might include topics from the entire series, not just limited to the first season. My concern is that there are many fans of the books who might be really unprepared for how different the TV show might be compared to the books. And I think talking about these topics ahead of time might help prepare book fans to love the show, assuming it is good, of course. The success of the show really doesn't depend on whether existing fans are going to love it. It will depend on bringing in new fans. But I would like book fans to at least be prepared to love the adaptation. If it turns out to be bad, then it will be bad. And nothing I or anyone else can say would change that. But let's say the adaptation is good and new fans love it and it's successful, but a lot of book fans hated it because they were expecting something closer to the books. That would make me really sad. So I really wanna open up discussion around this general topic. What kinds of changes are likely to be coming? What kinds of changes are needed and why? Why are these changes necessary in a different medium and how could they make for a better story for TV? And again, coming back to the idea of another turning of the wheel that I've talked about before. So what are some topics in this general vein that you might be interested in having me tackle and give you my take on? One example that I know I'll cover is how they should adapt the romantic relationships in the Wheel of Time. But think also on maybe some things that weren't handled all that well in the books or things that were fantastic in the books, but that you're not sure how it would translate to the screen. I will work towards releasing one video of this type on Tuesdays, which would leave open the possibility of covering show news when we have it on a Thursday or a Friday. 
And maybe on days when we don't have show news, I might weave in some Cosmere content on those days instead. My goal is one video per week most of the time, but I might do two when I can manage it. Thank you to any of you who are interested enough in my channel to watch a video like this. Please leave me a comment and let me know what you think about my reread series and the adaptation series and any other content you might be looking to see from my channel. I am working on my prediction video for Block 3 episodes 5 and 6, as well as a fun Stormlight Archive video. So those are some things that you can expect to see from me fairly soon. And I'll see you next time.